Britain is now the first country to allow the creation of human embryos from the DNA of three parents. Pro-life groups in the UK are deeply concerned after the House of Lords passed that law yesterday. It means that for the first time, we will be manipulating the genes of a new human being. We're concerned because this involves the creation of test tube babies in the first instance, which we believe is wrong. Um, but this also means that the test tube babies being created will be guinea pigs, in fact. This method of altering an embryo before it is transferred into the womb was previously forbidden by British law. The new law is intended to avoid passing on defects in a mother's mitochondria. Dr. David Prentice is an adjunct professor of molecular genetics at the John Paul II Inst Institute. Supporters of this law, Dr. Prentice, compare this mitochondria replacement to a kidney transplant. Is that accurate? Uh, far from it, Brian. If I get a kidney, it's just affecting me and its DNA doesn't go into every cell of my body. But what's being proposed is transferring DNA that will be inherited through all of the subsequent generations for these new individuals. It's really frightening. There are many ethical concerns. What are the most critical of those? Well, I think one glaring problem here is they don't even consider the people that have these genetic diseases. They're ignoring them in favor of creating new individuals genetically engineered individuals designed to certain specifications that they hope, and it's only a hope, that they hope will not have these diseases. So you're experimenting with human beings, you're manufacturing new individuals, and, and unfortunately the creators are not really held to any higher standards. Looks like playing God to me, and that's frightening. Are we likely to see this in the U.S., and who would push for that? Well, unfortunately so. There's already been a request to approve this in the U.S. The FDA actually held a hearing about this time last year, and who were the people loudly asking for this? The cloners. The techniques involved in creating these three parent embryos involve cloning technology. So we're looking at genetic design and cloning and trying to gestate these new individuals to birth. It's coming and we need to be aware and speak out against it. What can we do? Well. First, arm yourself with that knowledge that it is coming and what's really involved. It involves creation of new individuals as experiments. And then contact your elected representatives and let them know that you're against this proceeding in the U.S. Do you think that other countries other than the U.S. will try to follow this as well? I'm afraid so. One of the arguments, in fact, in the debate in the House of Lords was that Britain would be the first. They would be a trailblazer. And so you can see other countries probably looking at this saying, well, we want to be on the cutting edge as well. The U.S. is following right along. Probably other countries will want to as well. Very concerning. Dr. David Prentice, a molecular genetics professor at John Paul II Institute, thank you for your clarification tonight. Thank you.